A 1 quarter inch 20 TPI threaded rod was turned down to fit into a 1 quarter inch OD brass tube for the axial bearing. Some 3 quarter inch brass rod was turned for the thrust bearings. A quarter inch hole is drilled in it and it has a pair of set screws to lock in the drive screw. The axial bearing tube fits snugly in the thrust bearing. The shoulder on the thrust bearing holds two washers. <laughs> and now <laughs> the threaded rod is a press fit. The drive screw and the thrust bearing can now be securely assembled by tightening the set screws. It's going nowhere now. This steel frame will attach the drive assembly to the boxed way. It has a quarter inch hole in the steel for a sliding fit with the axial bearing. The second thrust bearing can now be placed and snugged tight to remove any backlash. Once adjusted, the bearing can be secured with the set screws. It rotates freely and has no backlash. Well, everything has some backlash. The drive screw assembly can now be mounted on the boxed way.
drives drive screw brass bearings on the box toy. In the next video, the drive nut and precision slide will be installed. Thanks for watching.